A week ago today, three of the original four Beatles, John, George, Paul and Ringo, finally parted company with their fast-talking American manager, Alan Klein. A highly significant announcement for pop fans because one of the reasons given for the original breakup of the Beatles was that after Brian Epstein's death, John, George and Ringo wanted Klein to manage the Beatles' complex business affairs and disagreed with Paul, who was against Klein and who wanted Lee Eastman, his wife's father, as manager. So, with Klein out of the way, and unanimity on that question at least, is the way now open for a reunion? Two days ago, John Fielding talked to John Lennon and Yoko Ono in Los Angeles. John, can you tell me what happened with Alan Klein? Why did you and the other two try to get, decide finally to get rid of him? Uh, well, there are many reasons to get finally given the push. Although, uh, I don't want to go into the details of it. Let's say that uh, possibly Paul's suspicions were right. And uh, the time was right. Uh, my well, look, position has always been the devil in the deep blue sea. And uh, at the time, I do whatever I feel is right. And although I haven't been particularly happy personally for quite a long time with the situation, I didn't want to make any quick moves. And I wanted to see if maybe, you know, something could work out. His contract was coming up for renewal anyway, was it? Uh, the contract expired, I think, in February. And we were extending, at first, on a monthly basis. And then finally on a two-week basis. And then finally we pushed the boat out. I not regret anything. I'm not playing games with you, you know. Right. And whatever happened, happened, you know. I'm happy now. And that's, that's about all that is important to me. Mm. That I'm enjoying myself. I think we'd all have liked to have settled it as quick and as soon as possible. But I'm hoping, and, and it'd probably be true that in a way, settling it between ourselves, or because it seemed to be impossible at that period, would be the best way for us just to sit down and say, now what is it and what do you want, and for each of us to declare our real intentions. Well, you mean you haven't done that already? Well, A, because we had uh, these people keeping us apart, as it, almost, you know? You That's what it fit. boiled down to, is it? Well, it's like the, when the lawyers come into the divorce, you know? And that makes it a whole different ball game, you know. Speak to my lawyer. But you, although um, we have communicated over the phone in the last year, Paul and I often. Yeah, I mean, you've been communicating with each other for longer than that, surely, haven't you? In fact, right through all this. Or we, was there a time when you weren't talking was to a each period, other? Well, it wasn't that we weren't talking to each other. There, there was so much going on, we didn't get a chance, you know. And he was up in Campbelltown. <laughs> Gardening. <laughs> Gardening. Yeah. Uh, he was up there for a long time at one period. Nobody could find, get in touch with him at all. Uh, so you're hello, still going to have... Just say hello to my auntie. All right. Hello, Mimi. It's how are you? We're okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. Don't worry. And we're eating well. Mm -hmm. And I haven't given up my British citizenship. I just want to live here. That's all. They're, they're always trying to pinpoint what happened and why the Beatles split up, right? Well, the Beatles were splitting up themselves, you know, disintegrating is the word for it. And uh, I think the Klein Eastman situation really pushed it over the hill. You're not saying that you wouldn't have split but no, for no. kind of... It's like we were going to get a divorce anyway. It was in, you know, like the marriage wasn't going too well. Not, nothing, you know, you can put your finger on, but the marriage was over. Mm. The presumption is, A, that the Beatles would get together again, or uh, even thinking about it. B, that if they got together, John and Yoko split, Paul and Linda split, or now that we've left Klein, that Paul, the rumour now is that Paul's leaving Eastman. It, it just has, it's irrelevant, it's not, to, it's non sequitur. It doesn't have anything to do with with that decision and uh, but the chances so of your your ever performing as a group again are, are in no way enhanced by the present situation are they well, <coughs> with or without the present situation the chances are practically nil although I hate to say definitely anything because every time I make a definite statement I change my mind but I don't have any feeling about it and I don't think any of the others really do because if you if you if any of you actually remember when we were together uh, everybody's talking as if it was wonderful all the time, on all the press and everybody and the people all saying how great and wonderful, but it wasn't like that at all. And imagine if they did get together, what kind of scrutiny they'd be under. Nothing could fit the dream people had of them, so forget right. it, you know. Yeah. It's just ludicrous. You know? Brian just died, and that left us really in the air. We didn't know anything about the business. I had not one iota about it.
Well, we were in rather a predicament, having been left with contracts signed at, at me being the next eldest, <laughs> Ringo the oldest, mm -hmm. but me being 23 when we signed all those things, and the other two being 21 and 22. And what we got into then is still hanging us up now. That's why the ball game is so, has been so difficult, because everything we signed in those days was signed with, we didn't know what we were signing. Mm. Right? So that's 10 years ago, and now we're still trying to unravel what happened 10 years ago.